Greetings, Tuesday morning greetings. And good morning and good night. It's rush hour time. Hello team, how are we all this morning? It's been a bit blustery tonight. <laughs> Hello. Oh, CC, CC. Well, the rush hour came about. A friend of mine um, uh, noticed that I talked to the animals and uh, she talked to the animals as well. And we thought it would be quite a good way to introduce our animals by opening up the, the gate in the morning and let them come out. And so we opened up the, the gates like we normally do on a on a morning and all the animals come running out and Cuthbert in particular, the, our famous goose, leads the way normally and uh, it sort of just took off. We, we started just doing this recording really just for a bit of fun and just a way of introducing the animals. And me and Fee talk to the animals all the time and it's all gone rather crazy. You mentioned Cuthbert the goose there, but what other animals are coming out when you open that door? Because there's a, there's a lot. Oh, yeah, there's a lot. There's 30, 40, even more sometimes. So we have our ducks. So we have like runner ducks like Emerson, Lake and Palmer. We have our roosters, uh, Ken and Kenny. Uh, we have obviously lots of other uh, geese as well. We have Cece and Cece are with me now. Hello, Cece. So Cece and Cece are with me. And sometimes we have the goats come running out in our sheep, midnight, uh, lucky. It's just crazy. It's just crazy, really. And you've got a tiny little kitten as well, I saw. Oh, yes, yeah, Smudge. And well, Smudge is actually with me now, just following me around. And uh, Smudge and we also have socks. Or two of our farm kittens who extremely... <laughs> Sorry, a duck's just flying over my head at the moment. So I literally got to duck. I'm going to ask a, a kind of rude question. Um, can I ask how old you are? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, last count, I was 61. <laughs> so. And you are on Instagram, Twitter, and you're also on TikTok, which I'm going to be completely honest, I don't really understand TikTok. But what led you to be on all these social media platforms? But basically, because um, we have lots of young people down here, and they're all talking about TikTok, the, the latest trend in social media, I thought I would go on there. And when I looked at TikTok initially, I thought, it's a bit crazy, because it seemed to be just people lip-syncing and, and posing young people. And I thought, well, how about doing something a bit different? So me and Fee came up with this idea of bringing our animals on there, and thought, well, there's nothing to lose. And we, we started doing our rush hour, and because of my animals talked back to me, <laughs> I put the voices on, the animals um, became a, a big hit. And when the matter of weeks, the following started picking up to the extent of it where I think we got over 52,000 followers who log in just to see the, the rush hour, especially from America and, and obviously New Zealand. Um, and it's just brilliant to be able to share the, the farm and the animals with so many people. And it, and the people sort of say it, it brings a smile to their faces and it sets them off for the day or, in your cases, for the evening to be able to um, yeah, have a smile and, and see how animals interact with us. Who is um, being quite so noisy uh, there? Cece. Cece wants to say hello. Hello. Hello, hello New Zealand. <laughs> Sorry, like all my animals around here, they, they all follow me. They all respond to, to uh, my voice because they've been brought up as uh, with the children. So, oh, how many animals are following you then as you walk around? All 40? Or well, at 50? the moment, I've I got about 15 or 20 at the moment. Um, I'm just looking out. We've got Rodney and Dell, my emus here at the moment, just following me around. Wow. So we have the emus. And we've got Penny the rooster here. We've got Donald the rabbit. Hello, Donald. Hello. The Donna the rabbit wanders around, Daisy the calf, and we've got the pig. It goes on and on. It's it really crazy. does. I want to know a little bit more about, because obviously Cuthbert is particularly loved by your viewers, but am I right that you have a very special relationship with Cuthbert? Yeah, C Cuthbert, um, my goose, was uh, hatched uh, by a duck three years ago, would you believe? And this little uh, gosling came out. The mother didn't want it. The duck was sort of a bit confused. I was confused. This little gosling came up to me, looked up to me, and I picked it up. And um, I didn't know what to do with it at first because uh, it, the mother wasn't interested, just the duck. So I put it up my sleeve, put it up my sleeve, hence the cuff, cuff bird. And for the first sort of four or five hours, it just uh, was with me <laughs> in my sleeve. And, uh, it, of course, it got imprinted on me. And... Um, Forevermore has uh, followed me round um, and uh, become quite a star of the, the farm. 
even to the extent where we have ladies turn up to give them Cuthbert cuddles and carrots. I don't get any, but um, Cuthbert gets all the attention. Greetings, Cuthbert. Cuthbert, you know you've gone viral. I haven't got a virus. No, you've gone viral. People are finding you. Oh, have they? Have they got carrots? No, they got carrots. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank <laughs> you.